Hello, this is the Greater Lagos Vision and I'm your host, Love Ikuku Oyedoku. To lift Lagos up requires a lot of significant amount of partnership. This is according to Governor Babajide Sawonlu. The governor stated this when he received an audience the African delegation from World Economic Forum, WEF, who paid him a courtesy call at Alausa, Ikeja. Governor Sawonlu reaffirmed that the state is always open to partnership and therefore advised investors to take advantage of the market that Lagos represents. He was quick to tell the World Bank economic team that Lagos is the best place to do business, noting that his administration will continue to make Lagos attractive for investors. A greater Lagos is indeed rising. This is the Greater Lagos vision. Welcome once again. This episode features financial sector, Governor Sawonlu assures banks of ease of doing business, economy, WEF, to set up sub-Saharan center in Lagos. May Day, Governor Sawonlu reiterates commitment to staff welfare. Details of these and many more when we return. Please stay with us. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawonlu has charged investors to take advantage of the market that Lagos represents. The governor stated this during a courtesy visit by the African delegation from World Economic Forum, WEF, at Alausa, Ikeja. Seated are African delegation from World Economic Forum, WEF. They are here at Alausa Ikeja on a courtesy call on Governor Babajide Sawunlu. The delegation was represented by the head of Regional Agenda Africa of WEF, Chido Muyati, and the community lead African Regional Agenda, Mrs. Abi Ibrahim. Receiving the delegation in audience, Governor Sawunlu who was represented by the Commissioner for Economic Planning and Budget, Sam Egube, told the team that the state is always open to partnership and advised investors to take advantage of the market that Lagos represents. So the Lekki Deep Sea Port will represent the deepest point uh, with very strong ship-to-shore fac facilities uh, to then position Lagos uh, for the African continental market as a hub. Right. So all of that are working together. You see it in the infrastructure we are building in that direction. Uh, you see it in the real line planning and the real um, line commitments which we have um, so that we better in an urban and physical planning way um, expand that. So I would say um, generally there is big, big room for partnership, um, partnerships, around data sharing, partnership around building together the data infrastructure of the state, um, working with Alastra uh, to look at citizen identification and management. And, and the Lagos State Hemsman maintained that Lagos is the best place to do business, to do business, stressing that his administration having attracted a lot of significant investments into the state will continue to make Lagos attractive for investors. Commissioner for Finance, Dr. Rabi Olowo, commended the African delegation from World Economic Forum for seeking a partnership with the Lagos State Government. The special advisor to Governor Sawunlu on works and infrastructure, engineer Aramide Adeoye, said Lagos is in dire need of partnerships from the private sector because the government cannot do it all. Approach to it, exactly how we build affordable housing. It's a, it's a challenge, but I know that with Africa, the Kenya, the largest of Africans, we can, the collaborations can come and we can actually get this. Once we get this right, I think that shelter is, everybody knows it. Yeah. Once we can provide shelter, it's one of the, one of the first set of things that people need. When we get it right in that, in that line, other things will begin to fall in place. So welcome, uh, we are here. It's a doorstep to business. Lagos is it. Speaking earlier, 
the head of regional agenda Africa of World Economic Forum, Chido Muyati, said they are offering partnerships with Lagos State Government in urban regeneration, housing, transport, and mobilizing capital for investments in Lagos. We believe this is probably, um, well, it's not a belief, it's a fact, it's probably the most important uh, city, if you can describe it that way, or state uh, in Africa. Uh, you have a population, I think, of over 25 million people, the most populous urban area in Africa. Uh, you are the hub of entertainment, uh, your financial center, I think five of the largest unicorns in the world in Africa. Five of the seven unicorns in Africa, so billion dollar companies are from Lagos, so OPE, um, Andela, Flutterwave, I'm, I'm sure you know this better than I do. Um, and so we find it to be extremely important that we have a deeper collaboration with you on some of our broader initiatives. Um, and the first one that we wanted to present to uh, His Excellency uh, the Governor was this initiative on nature positive cities. Um, at World Economic Forum, we have various centers, and so we have about 10 different centers working deeply on systemic issues. One of them is urbanization, which I think is pretty important to, to Lagos, considering you're the uh, most populous urban center in Africa, and your growth and development uh, will need to be shaped in a way that I think um, also mitigates some of the climate challenges. Um, and so this initiative, we wanted to present it to His Excellency, one, to see if um, the broader state government would be interested in collaborating on this public-private partnership. Uh, but importantly, we also wanted to invite His Excellency to join the commission. So that he also expressed the World Economic Forum's request to set up a sub-Saharan center in Lagos, since Lagos is a tech center in Africa. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sogunlu has reiterated his administration's commitment to providing infrastructure and ensure ease of doing business for financial institutions and other investors in the state. Governor Sogunlu gave this assurance while receiving top management staff of three banks, including United Bank for Africa, UBA, EcoBank Nigeria, PLC, and Optimus Bank during a cost of visit at the State House. Marina. They are top management staff of three major banks in Nigeria, United Bank for Africa PLC, UBA, EcoBank Nigeria PLC, and Optimus Bank. They are on a cost of visit on Governor Sawolu at the Lagos House Marina. Receiving his guests in audience, Governor Sawunlu told them that his government is working round the clock to provide more infrastructure for the economic development of the state. We still have projects to commission. We still have infrastructural development to hand over to people. We have schools to hand over. And we still have um, all of the promises that are still validly you know, attainable within this first regime for us to still give um, to our people. Um, we don't have any idle time. Um, after the election, there have been several, several things that we're doing that we'll continue to do. Um, but what that tells us is really that we need to also do a lot more work, you know, um, given the confidence and the expectations of the people, of the businesses that we have in Lagos. The Lagos State Chief Executive was quick to inform his guests that strategic partners like the banks is needed by the government to further deepen development in the state. We want to thank you for identifying with us. We want to thank you for acknowledging all of our modest um, achievements, all of our interventions during um, the global pandemic, um, all of the security issues and economic challenges that we had at that time and now we are all able to navigate through and we all came out stronger, better um, and, and, and we're doing you know, all of the things that we need to do to ensure that um, um, the state is positioned and well put and where it can continue to receive businesses, it can continue to remain home to um, big corporations and organizations like yourself. And I think it's <clears throat> also important 
that we acknowledge the fact that um, uh, Lagos contributes a significant part of your bottom line. We are not a key man risk, but it's something that we will take back and we'll analyze and we'll see what percentage of your CSR gets back to the, the, to the, to the community that lays the golden egg. He also charged the financial institution on corporate social responsibilities to the host communities to complement efforts of government. Sawolu applauded the banks for partnering with the state government in the area of infrastructure development and financing. We see your organization and our government as positive partners in progress and the least we can do is to continue to um, deepen that relationship, continue to um, ensuring that we handle each other and curate you know, that, that environment where your business grow and our citizens also feel you know, the impact of those growth. Earlier, the visitors lauded the governor for piloting the affairs of the state creditably during his first term in office and for creating an enabling environment for businesses to thrive in the state. Oliver Alawuba is a group managing director, United Bank for Africa, UBA. Lagos by far the most secure state. So people were doing business even though there were serious insecurities in several parts of the country. So we have you to thank for. And I'm sure it was because of this and the numerous infrastructure projects that you did in the first term that the people of Lagos State insisted that you must come back for the second term. And gladly we did. So we believe that you have what it takes to continue the transformation of Lagos State. We looked at um, the infrastructure projects, and UBA is willing, more than ever available, to continue to support you in the infrastructure projects you are doing in Lagos State. Similarly, the EcoBank's managing director, Bolaji Lawa, commended Governor Sowunlu for the impact he had made in the state. Lawa said the governor had a lot of goals and visions for the state and EcoBank was ready to partner the state government on its developmental mission. We would like to commend you for all the work and also we assure you that we are here in our own little way to also support in all your initiatives going forward. So that's one. Um, I'm new in EcoBank but looking at the history and the discussions we've had and we benefited from the support of the government. So the second reason why we're here is to also say a big thank you to you. Um, we obtained your support for the development of our head office. We're extremely grateful. It has helped the business in terms of projecting us in a positive way. And we also have so many accounts from the government. And um, we also appreciate that opportunity to serve and to also build a win-win relationship. Uh, the final reason why we're here is that um, we also recognize that going forward, there's a lot more to achieve, particularly given the impact and the size of Lagos State, the most vibrant state in Nigeria. We know that you have a lot of goals, aspirations for the growth and development of Lagos State. And even though we're a medium-sized bank today, um, we can benefit from the connectivity of the group. And we just want to signal that um, like where I schooled, it says once the call is sounded, let's be there. So we're here to say that we're on standby to do more if given the opportunity. In the same vein, Optimus Bank's managing director, Dr. Adimola Odeyemi, said that the bank was ready to collaborate with Lagos state government to further deepen development in the state. I've known the governor for many years, although he doesn't know me. But I've known him very, very well eh? <laughs> for many years. And uh, when I look at the governor's team, Sami and I started our career together at Afghanistan years ago. Yomi has been, uh, you know, so I've known quite a lot of people around there who've been together. And we've been in Lagos State, supporting Lagos State in all areas where we can. At Optimus Bank, our objective is to give back to society and support the society as much as we can. Though we are new, we're just starting, but the ambition is quite big. 
Uh, we believe that there are opportunities for us to support the ambitions and the activities of Lagos State Government into the future. And that's why we are here today to say, sir, we are here at your beck and call. Uh, we appreciate what you've done so far. We know that there's still a lot to be done into the future. And we believe that we have what it takes, given the experience and the, and the competence on our own side, uh, to support the government. So, in summary, greet you, congratulate you, and introduce ourselves to you to let you know that we are available to support the regime and all we can do. Just let us know. Give me a call. Give any of my guys a call. We'll be ready to do our best to make sure that we we'll support you in achieving your objectives. Earlier, Governor Sawunlu reiterated his administration's commitment to deepening relationship, creating a good environment where businesses can grow. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu has reaffirmed his administration's unwavering commitment to the welfare of workers in the state. Governor Sawunlu gave this assurance while speaking at the 2023 Workers' Day celebration themed Workers' Rights and Social Economic Justice held at the Mobology Johnson Arena, Onikon, Lagos. Without you, we will have chairs in our offices, in our homes, in our hospitals, even in our various public facilities. It is the 2023 May Day celebration. It is a day set aside to celebrate achievement of workers globally. The theme for this year's celebration is workers' rights and socio-economic justice. Governor Sawulu was represented at the occasion by his deputy governor, Dr. Kadri Obafemi Hamzat. He told the workers that his government remained committed to resolving all outstanding issues affecting their welfare. I wish to take advantage of this special occasion to recognize and applaud the industry and commitment of our workers in both private and public sector, whose labor and heroics have powered our economy and brought prosperity to our dear state. I'd like to thank you for your sacrifice towards building a greater Lagos and the embracing hard work which has contributed to the successful implementation of policies and programs of this government. I must state that this is not only your day. It, is, it also carries a significant, special significance for this administration. It marks the end of one dispensation and the beginning of another one. In the context of the just concluded election, saying thank you to workers in Lagos State has special meaning, especially the leadership of the organized labor for their total support and cooperation which made it possible for us to emerge victorious in the last election against all odds. We appreciate you for standing resolute in your total support for our administration in recognition of our modest achievements. Governor Sawunlu discloses that his administration in the last four years had continued to ensure that the state workers were provided with the right tools and environment to excel with robust welfare packages. Whilst we remain committed to resolving all outstanding issues affecting the welfare and service entitlement of our workers, we equally, we equally have never wavered in meeting our commitment to workers under the contributing pension scheme. We have paid over 51.7 billion in pensions since the beginning of this administration. <laughs> Given our commitment and disposition to meeting workers and labor requests in matters of welfare and security, we are hopeful that we shall keep working together to give way to our aspiration of a rising Lagos. I wish to assure all our workers of our unwavering commitment to their welfare. We are mindful of the challenges of the time, and we continue to provide the basic needs of our people and the right kind of leadership anchored on transparency and accountability. 
as we prepare to commence another tenure on 29th May. I call on all workers in Lagos State to join us in our resolve and determination to deliver greater and impactful defense of democracy to all Lagosians. I look forward to your continued support as the greater Lagos of our the collective dream continues to rise. The governor, while highlighting the efforts of his government in ensuring better welfare, further noted that his government had paid over 51.7 billion naira in pensions and, and prompt payments of workers' salary since the beginning of his administration. The theme of this year's Mother May Day celebration, which is workers' rights and socio-economic justice, could not have been more appropriate and relevant against the backdrop of our administration's demonstrated commitment to welfare, workers' welfare rights from inception till now. I wish to place on record that the administration has always prioritized payment of workers' salaries and emoluments in addition to improving the welfare of workers generally. In the last four years, we ensure that workers in Lagos State are provided with the right tools and the environment with robust welfare packages. In January 2023, we took the decision without any prompting to raise workers' salary by 20% to cushion the effect of rising inflation and cost of living generally. Governor Sawulu thanked the workers for their support and cooperation, which he said has made it possible for his re-election. He urged all workers in the state to join his government to deliver greater and impactful dividends of democracy to all Lagosians as his administration begins a new term in office. Cup. Chairman of Lagos State Chapters of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Comrade Agnes Chessy, and Trade Union Congress, TUC, Comrade Binga Ekundayo, both commended the state government for commitment to the improvement of staff welfare. The leadership of workers expressed their satisfaction on your style of governance that has impacted workers and the entire Lagosians positively. They said you show leadership when it matters most. Your disposition in combating the COVID-19 pandemic with Lagos being the epicenter was beyond imagination, even with negative projection from countries of the global north about our dear country. Your economic and social interventions at the critical time will surely remain a model for any welfare government at a future date. Today, Lagos State workers are happy to see you wearing two caps to this occasion the executive governor and governor-elect of Lagos State. Your resounding victory at the poll testify to the position of the Lagos State workers, and it is well-deserved. Mr. Governor, sir, as usual, workers, workers are gathered here to, for an all-round celebration fortified by relative peace in the state. Prompt payment of salaries, increment in salary, payment of pensions, regular promotion, and the tremendous improvement in other areas of workers' welfare. Indeed, Lagos leads and others follow. Workers have also expressed their satisfaction on different infrastructural projects of Mr. Governor in the last four years that have further established the concept of Lagos leads, others follow. Prominent among these is the Lagos Rail Mass Transit, the first phase of which is set to transform commuting in Nigeria's economic capital and traverse five stations covering a distance of 13 kilometers and has capacity to transport 250 passengers daily. Lagos has made history with the completion of the historic rail line, which is the first phase of Blue Line. Mr. Governor, workers convey their gratitude. Sir, as you continue the journey of quality service to your people for second time, workers through our engagement are further restated and pledged their continued support for your administration as your first time in office remains a blessing to them all. They expressed their union's readiness to partner with the state government in the new vision for Greater Lagos State Rising. Well, that's all we have for you on this episode of the Greater Lagos Vision on Plus TV Africa. I'm Love Ikuku Uyeduku. Bye for now.